Hi, this is Ted Canterman from Avidio Health Wellness Center in lovely Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Um, a very hot time of year. It's July, and it's in 2011, and it's supposed to be over 100 today. So, but beyond that, this is the first in a series of uh, short videos that we will be producing uh, that will highlight the technologies and or modalities and or equipment and devices that we have that will help um, that help us um, find what the imbalances are in our clients and help us decide what uh, course of action to take. Uh, the first uh, video that we're going to do is on CASP, CASP and pulse wave. CASP is the central aortic systolic pressure and um, it's you know basically the pressure at the root of the aorta. It's been shown to be a very important factor relating to cardiovascular events such as stroke, uh, much more so than the normal um, blood pressure cough situation that uh, most uh, medical people use to check your blood pressure. So it's measured by a catheter and the catheter goes in the arm up and around and then into the heart and um, lodges itself in the aorta right at the output of the heart. <clears throat> when the heart pumps there are two phases. The first phase is the systole when the heart contracts and also creates the uh, pulse wave. The second phase is the di diastole when the heart rests and this is the only time that the heart actually receives its blood supply so you want to make this period as long as possible not overdoing it when the heart stops you know but you want to make it long enough so that the, it can uh, maintain its uh, health and do what it's supposed to do. The pressure wave is reflected back when it encounters the bifurcation in the aorta. Um, what that basically means is as the aorta comes out of the heart a couple inches later there's a bifurcation it's, that's a fork in the road so to speak and the fork part gets creates a uh, uh, pulse wave that's reflected back. So when that is, you know, when it's a young person, the artery is pliable and reflective wave comes back slowly and that's a good thing. But but when an older person's artery is checked, um, it's usually stiffer and harder and reflective wave comes back much quicker. When the pulse wave returns too quickly during systole, that's the first pumping action of the heart, causes the heart to work extra hard to overcome the returning pressure wave. This also reduces the, the diastole time, thus reducing the amount of blood the heart receives for itself. So CASP has typically been, you know, an, an invasive type procedure, but now there's a new way. Uh, there's no catheter. It uses a standard armband and there's a wrist uh, things that, thing that you put on your wrist and there's a little button here that sits on your pulse point and then there's a computer and a color display and it, it you know measures standard blood pressure and uh, the cast but it only takes uh, a few minutes so what do we do about this I mean we have people with you know high cast but we're not sure it is high cast because we're not able to measure it because it's too invasive but now we can measure it. So we can measure the CASP and we can you know, have the body generate more nitric oxide. Now nitric oxide, by the way, nitric oxide and nitrous oxide are two different things. Um, nitrous oxide is used in racing cars and it's uh, basically it's laughing gas. Nitric oxide is used by the body to um, you know, generate a pliable, softer, you know, keeps keeps the things flowing in, in the uh, blood supply. Also helps um, if you have a um, erectile dysfunction. It will help that situation too. Most people don't realize if you have erectile dysfunction, that is an indication of some cardiovascular problem, and it may just be this. So anyway, we want them to generate more nitric oxide. And um, what helps the body generate more nitric oxide? But it's L-arginine, and L-arginine is just an amino acid. So we give the person L-arginine. Uh, we use uh, what's it called L-arginine Plus, which is a very inexpensive product for what it does. And then we uh, we measure. And here you'll see two charts. 
one taken March 28th, one taken June 9th, and this is me, and there was a problem with the cast being too high, and the, you see I'm, it says male 62 and 63, it's because I had a birthday in May. But anyway, the chart, this graph here, the center line is basically what they consider perfect. Top and bottom line are standard deviation ratios, and so you want to be in this area somewhere. And you'll notice this is way out. So we took this, and we also corroborated with a uh, this other device we have, which we'll probably do a video on. It's called um, uh, Quantum Magnetic uh, Resonance Analyzer, and that showed at this point in time uh, that there were you know significant um, measurements that were out of whack relating to uh, blood vis viscosity and, you know, flexibility and blah, 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 blah. So I put myself on um, L-arginine, and we tested it, you know, about two months later, and lo and behold, this is much better. So here you see the reflected wave coming in in the middle of the diastole, and here you see there is no more wave. It's moved down to here. So, and you also see the uh, the dot is more in the range where it's supposed to be. So, this is proving that you know these things can uh, be you know effective, and um, you know, that cast is a great measurement, and it's important to judging stroke and cardiovascular risk. And if you can measure it non-invasively. Um, it's something that everybody should do and take action on whatever the results are. And alloginine is an effective substance to reduce CASP. So you tie that all together and you got a pretty good um, idea of uh, what we can do for you in our wellness center. And it's called A View to Your Health. And our website is aviewtoyourhealth.com. And like I said in the beginning, we're in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. And if you have any questions, you can certainly get on the uh, website and email us or uh, check us out with a phone call. We'd be happy to comply. Until the next time in the next video, I wish you health.